If you've ever wondered how creators get those sleek, minimal captions that you see everywhere, you're in the right place. This clean subtitle style is not only visually stunning, but also super effective. It can keep viewers hooked for longer, and I'll show you exactly how to make it in CapCut. It all starts with the font. Fonts are not just letters, they carry emotion. That's why you'd never see Comic Sans in a serious presentation. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If it's messy or unreadable, people will just scroll away. So simplicity isn't boring, it's powerful. For this look, you want fonts that are simple, modern, and sharp. Some excellent options are Interbold, Montserrat, Poppins, Arial, Helvetica. These are clean and professional, and they'll instantly give your captions that high-quality style. Once your font is locked in, open up CapCut. So this is our subject clip. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If it's messy or unreadable, people will just scroll away. The first step is to generate auto captions. Don't worry, we're not using them directly as subtitles. They just make it easier to follow along with your dialogue. Next, add a text layer and type your first word. I'll use your as an example. First, type your and select the uppercase option. Then decrease the character spacing to minus one to bring the letters closer. Scroll down to shadow, enable it, and increase the blur slightly. Set the distance to 10, angle to minus 70, and opacity to 25 for a subtle shadow. Position this layer at the beginning of the timeline where the word is spoken and plan its endpoint. For example, if the speaker says your choice of font, the word should disappear after choice. Move the playhead to that point and drag the text layer to end there. Next, return to the beginning of the timeline. Scroll down and create a transform keyframe and a blend keyframe. Hold shift and click the forward arrow twice, then click it two more times without shift, moving approximately 12 frames ahead. At this new point, create another transform keyframe and a blend keyframe. Jump back to the first keyframe using the arrow key. Drag the opacity down to zero and set the Y value to minus 100. This creates a fade-in effect where the word slides up. Your choice of font speaks before your actual. Let's make these animations look more professional by right-clicking and saying show variable speed animation. Because we didn't change anything on the scale, you see that this is a straight line. Since only the Y value was changed, select the two Y keyframes, go to the presets curve, and choose Quad Ease. Drag the small dot closer to the first keyframe. This makes the word slide up faster initially, and then slow down. Do the same for the blend keyframes. Your Finally, with the word still selected, go to Animation, scroll to Slide Up, and leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. Add a blur to the Out animation. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If the word slides too fast, drag the second keyframe forward slightly. By moving the keyframe up by three frames, a smoother slide animation is achieved. Reselect Quadies in the keyframe animator to reset the curve and drag the line closer to the first keyframe again for a super smooth slide up animation. This completes 90% of the work for this caption style. The remaining steps involve layering text and adding secret elements. To do this, hold down Alt and drag to create a few more layers and stagger them on the timeline so they appear at the right time. For variety, you can resize and reposition different words so some stand out more than others. If you want a certain word to really pop, like font, change its color, scale it up, or even switch the font. A warm orange or yellow tone works perfectly to catch attention, and adding a glow effect will make it shine without feeling over the top. This balance of subtlety and emphasis is what makes captions feel artistic instead of distracting. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. So that's how our final video results look. You can try CapCut completely free for the first seven days. The download link is in the description below. Now let's move on to creating dynamic captions that appear behind an object, a popular effect you've likely seen many creators use. To achieve this, you'll first need to go to CapCut. 
navigate to the Captions tab, select your desired language, and then generate auto captions. As you can see, our auto captions are now generated. Next, click on any of the generated captions. You'll notice that the changes you make will apply to all captions on the timeline, as Apply to All is automatically selected. Now, head over to the Templates section. We're looking for something bold, ideally displaying two or three words at a time, which works best for this specific effect. Scroll through the available templates. You'll find many options here. Choose the one that best suits your shot and message. For instance, this one looks bold and clear. It's crucial that your choice of font truly enhances your message. We'll apply this bold template to all captions. Now let's refine its placement. Let's ensure our captions maintain this simple, modern, and sharp aesthetic. Now that our captions are added, let's make them appear behind the object. To do this, click on your main video layer, then press Alt and drag it directly over the text layer on your timeline. You'll see that the video has been duplicated. Currently, you won't be able to see the captions because the duplicated video layer is on top. To fix this, click on the upper video layer, go to Remove Background, and select Auto Removal. CapCut will now process and remove the background around your object. Let's wait a moment for it to complete. The auto removal is done. Let's play that back. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If it's messy or unreadable, people will just scroll away. Our captions are now successfully positioned behind the object. You can also tweak their individual placement for a more dynamic look. For example, let's make this caption appear on the front and another on the right side of the object. To do this, first, select the specific caption and unselect Apply to All Captions. Then, Drag it to your desired position, like the right side, and there you go, similar to this. You can continue this process, placing one caption on the left side and another on the right side for each subsequent caption. Now you have a dynamic caption appearing behind your object in the video. Let's review. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If it's messy or unreadable, people will just scroll away. So, you might notice that away here is getting a little bit out of hand. Let's just squeeze the caption box on our timeline so that it fits perfectly. There we go. Your choice of font speaks before your actual message does. If it's messy or unreadable, people will just scroll away. So, simplicity isn't boring, it's powerful. For this look, you want fonts that are simple, modern, and sharp. All right, friends, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this or learned something new, let me know with an emoji in the comments. It always makes my day to see them. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the little bell icon so you never miss my next video. Also, don't forget to check out my previous video on text effects. It'll help you stay one step ahead and make your edits look even more professional. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see your emojis and hear your thoughts. Until next time, take care. And I'll see you in the next stone.